Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Ilona and I have this new project to share with you. What you're seeing now is a project that's not ready yet. I'm going to finish that in the next weeks. This is a video in the hashtag series and this month's hashtag is trash to treasure. So I took a, a children's suitcase in this horrible green color. It was hideous. <laughs> and I turned it into a treasure or at least it has to become a treasure because it's still not ready yet. So this is the outside of my treasure because what I want to show today is on the inside. So I'm gonna open it up. Okay. So this is the inside of my treasure. I'm gonna pull out these two things. This is a tag that I made for uh, two other challenges and it's going in the mail to Cindy. So Cindy, it will be on your way. And I'm sad to say goodbye to it because I really love it. But anyways, and there's a postcard in here that I stamped. So now you can see this background is a napkin. It's a really sturdy napkin because I used it in my project uh, as tags also. This is the napkin. And what I actually did was use the two parts. And I mod podged that on my uh, inside cover to get this look. So you can see the old book paper through the napkin still in some places and some stamping as well and I made a pocket by using two different kind of laces what I really need you to see is this this is my vintage junk journal and it's a big recycling project and I have a making of video about this so you can watch how I made this and this front cover is actually not made by me it came to me from Scrap and Happy XO and I'm not sure if she made it or if it was gifted to her as well so and I used it to make it as my uh, book cover so that's the front cover. I'm gonna open it up. So I made two sections for this book and um, I made it by using just copy paper. So I coffee dyed that and then I baked it in the oven. And on this page I used a stamp. I have this little, a little bag, paper bag that I turned into a pocket by using washi tape and it has two tags in there that's one and that's two and this is the the napkin that I used so I just glued the napkin onto each other I'm gonna put them back and these tags I got in my birthday challenge package by Brigitta she was the first one to send me her tags so I will link uh, my birthday video in this description box so you can find it so then on this page the washi tape again it's coming a bit loose I use some stamps and some flag banners you can tuck something in between there well, let's get this tag out so you can see so that you can tuck behind there then I used some, I just got a closet for my new room, bought by Ikea and it has all these, uh, I had some glass plates and this was the protection for the glass plates, so that's what I used in this uh, album. I used uh, stickers, again some stamping but you can hardly see it. Here I just crinkled the paper and went over it with distress ink. This paper I also embossed and then used this dress ink on it. Here you have the rest of the napkin that I glued together 
to make a page. Then we have another postcard on this coffee and tea dyed page with some doilies that make a tuck. Here I uh, again use the bag from the front cover to make a pocket. So this was the back side of the, of the bag. I also made this mixed media tag. This is some handmade paper that I bought in a local store. Just a piece of cardstock and a sticker. Here I use some book paper and some lace. Another tuck spot, and then it repeats itself because this was the middle of my section. A tag, I need this tag again from the paper from the protective sheet from IKEA, and a tucks behind the doily, and then we can repeat ourselves a sticker. I use bubble wrap to stamp with. This is another piece of handmade paper. Stamped on it. Stamped on this one. I made this glitter frame. I had this frame lying around and I just put glue on it and glitter and heated it up so it bubbled. Another little paper bag. Stamped on it. Put some lace on there. Put in a tag which is also embossed. paper is also embossed. Here I used some washi tape, two doilies, glue together, a piece of baking paper, handmade paper again, uh, stamping, stamping. This one I just folded back. You could also glue it on here, but I left it open, so you have a pocket here and a pocket there. That's also a possibility. And I had some cutoffs from the paper bags that I used here to insert some tags, and these tags came also from Brigitta. Thank you so much, and they fit beautiful in this book. And this is the middle of the second section. Another sticker. Uh, here I made a, a little envelope by using a circle diamond die. And that's in the video as well. So if you want to know how I did this, you watch the video. Here I attached an envelope. That you can tuck something in. And there's a postcard in there. And this is a paper clip that I got from Mildred. She was the second one to send me happy mail for my birthday challenge. Then here's the back flap of the envelope and I tucked on a tag and it is a pocket so you can put something in there. The doily again. Here is the second piece that I cut off and I made a tag out of. And again, postcard. Stamping with bubble wrap again, making a pocket out of the leftover handmade paper. Embossing, embellishing with a doily and a scallop circle. I uh, glued on this birdcage, which I got from Leonie in a package a long time ago. And I just glued this side so you can tuck something behind and this one came again from my birthday challenge package and the last page and the back side of the page is some wallpaper that I reused and this is the back of my book like I show you the, the dangles I just put on some beads and some charms and the back side is book paper that I ripped up and distressed with distress ink. So that's my project for Trash to Treasure and I hope you enjoyed my video. If you do, uh, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. 
and maybe you like to uh, join in on my birthday challenge because so far I have not have any mixed media um, entries and I really really want to get some of those as well so please check out that video I will link it and at the end of the video uh, I also have a link to that video so please stay tuned till the end and watch how I made this so thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day bye bye thanks so much for watching my videos if you like my videos please let me know by leaving me a comment I'd love to hear what you think about my projects of course you can also hit the like button to let me know if you want to see more please hit the link right there it will take you to the video of the project that I made before this one and you can also click on my YouTube name sign above here to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any more videos. See you with my next video. Bye bye and have a wonderful day.